actually we had we had the little lighter, so ice went inside the like through the rim in the tank. Oh. So the air was going out through that. Oh shoot. So we just kinda just melted off. Oh dang. How deep was that? I was. I think I, I think I'm okay. Here we go. On a recent snow landing trip, we came across a truck that was in distress. If it wasn't for a very important piece of gear, then we wouldn't have been able to help this person out. And if conditions are just right, your gear could become frozen too. Watch this video, share it with friends and family. It could be very useful to them, especially if they're going on these winter adventures. Oh yeah, not good. This trip was supposed to be simple. We were gonna drive up to the Big Bear ski resorts, snowboard, drive into the mountains and camp out, wake up and then snowboard again. Simple, but on the way up and just about 15 cars ahead of us, something terrible happened. Oh yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. My friend Eric and I improvised, we made a U-turn. We backtracked four miles and took a service road 18 miles over to Big Bear Lake and the ski resorts. I got a little place to pull off. You want to air down here or something? Yeah, if, you, if you want to. Yeah, I think it'll be a good idea. All right, try that again. Let's get some more slidey action on camera. Oh, you used to gauge your rear locker, didn't you? You have a front locker? Oh. There you go. Nice. <laughs> truck, so you can carry a lot of gear, but I'm, you know, not having to carry around a bunch of hose. Yeah. <laughs> it works out for me. Yeah, I love it, man. So refreshing. This spot is where you want to take people to teach them how to snowboard so they don't have to pay for a lift ticket at Big Bear because that hill just to our left, perfect steepness to learn. This is where ground clearance is going to come in handy. to go with it straddling a pretty wide vehicle so <laughs> should be good I kind of regret my decision but that's all right be fine we're going <laughs> that's my skid plate That's my skid plate. That's okay. It's kind of snow and dirt. Smarter way to go. Yeah. Climb on the side. Woo! Didn't even touch. It's crazy to see these boulders being held up by like a little rock, like on the right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Eventually that will come down. 
I'll be very careful to not slide into you, but um, oops, slide just a tad bit there. Oh dang. <laughs> I definitely need to straddle that big old step. You're gonna touch on your driver. There you go. Straight. The boulder's coming up in about three feet. Boulder, you're on it. Slow, slow. Slow. Looking good. You can even go more driver. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, sure. I meant to do that. Probably, I'm gonna see if I can get through this without balls, but I might need to use balls. We'll see. Right now, this is just no balls. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get up it just fine. Shorter wheelbase, that's all it was. This is that Holcomb Creek entrance if you're crazy you make it right <laughs> no thank you so there it is Holcomb Creek black diamond uh, that's true rock crawling right there see you gotta like literally crawl your vehicle up these uh, big old boulders Easy mode. Going easy mode. <laughs> so, in case you didn't realize it, all these water crossings are causing our vehicles' undercarriages to get wet. And because it's really cold outside with a lot of wind chill, things are going to freeze down there. All right, here we are about to make a left onto the uh, ski resort road and there's nobody here. So that means we probably bypassed all that traffic. I was talking to this guy. A guy had a seizure, hit a truck, got out of his car and was, you know, out of his, and he literally walked off the cliff. Oh, did he yeah. die? They can't find him. 
Oh, he's dead then. Oh, yeah. So this day, this, I mean, it's all right enough. They can't find him. He was saying that he, he probably had a seizure during the when he was driving and then yeah. hit the truck. So, oh, my God. But he said, yeah, he just got out of the car and just walked, literally walked home. After a day of snowboarding, we met up with Eric's friend, Mark, and made our way back onto Holcomb Valley. Big ass summer, big ass summer. <laughs> How about we talk about that Ford F-150? So that's my buddy Eric at F-150 White Walker. This is America's number one selling vehicle. And in California, there aren't too many people using it for overlanding. It could carry a lot of gear. That's kind of what overlanders like to do is carry gear. And I'm surprised we don't see more. Rolling up the windows. <laughs> Okay, fuck that. Let's turn around. <laughs> no thanks. No, no good. The hope is to land a campsite before the sun goes down. And as you can see, that's gonna happen real soon. deep was that I was I think I, I think I'm okay here we go hey, just careful on speed there's a big old rock at the end just sticking out right there snowboarding today then we're gonna camp out and snowboard again tomorrow so what happened here is the winch hook is frozen on to the recovery point of the Ford F-150 we're trying to melt the ice with a torch lighter but it's not quite working right here. Ooh, that's working really good. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, Mark had a propane torch. These things are not very expensive. They're only $14. You can buy them at Walmart or Amazon, and they just screw on the top of one of the one-pound propane canisters. Open up some propane. And... <laughs> the propane torch was very effective at melting ice. Get it right here, because... That's going to, uh, yeah. oh, yeah, the hinge part, yeah, though. Exactly. <laughs> Something else might go wrong. <laughs> yeah, like this thing's frozen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> isn't that synthetic? Yeah, it's frozen. It's, here, look. Oh, dang. 
and it's gonna be hard to melt because It'll burn exactly because <laughs> it's on a wire rope yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We got some yeah. Stuff to oh, I'm gonna get that shovel, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I got some. Yeah. You look up, when he starts pulling, that that's a rope so you can start breaking yeah. apart. I want to get closer. And oh. Start backing up. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's smart, smart. Yeah, that'll do it. We're trying to pull the line out. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Because it's frozen. So put it, uh, start doing it out. Right now. Yeah. Let's go. Hold it. That's good. That's good. It's going. It's going. We're, we're good. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nice. Nice. Put it in. Uh, reverse. reverse. When I tell you, or when I honk, start putting, start driving back. Yeah, clear, <laughs> clear the line of fire. <laughs> Should be easy. Someone see John? <laughs> there it goes, there it goes. Yeah. Hold it. They picked up the boards and that's where it went. Yeah. Reverse. Reverse. Slow. There we go. Nice. First. You're good. Hey, you guys could have that shovel. I got another one because I bought it from Costco. It's, sure no, no, no. Because no, it's it's two, uh -huh. and that that recovery was was gold. Uh, yeah. So we got him out, and the guy tried giving me a hundred dollars, <laughs> and I told him no, man. I go, you know what? Just give us some beers if you have any. He gave us two beers, and I'm like, hey, it's gonna happen. You're gonna see someone in the on the trail that's stuck. Just help them. And in just community is just, it's all about helping each other yeah, in situations like this. Yeah, yeah. Because it's getting cold, they're stuck. <laughs> Dude, it's dropped 12 degrees like in the last- 12 degrees it's and it would not be good. It's yeah, like a fraternity. So. Like, yeah. It is, dude. This is like, yeah. it, you know what? This this community, kind of like CrossFit, it weeds out people. It does. It literally, it on does. its own. No, seriously. It'll weed out people on it its does. own. It does, yep. Yep. I think we're good. Back all to right. the same campground? Yeah. To the, I'm going forward, I'm kind of stuck. I'm putting it forward low. Turn on your locker too. That's right, I can yank you out and I think I can see what happened, Mark, is to the left, it's really deep people haven't been driving there you stick over more to the passenger side you won't get sick let me just yank you back real quick i got all my stuff pretty much ready so we're running into completely different challenges compared to last time i was there little toe point not a recovery point my toe point is frozen oh wow this thing's magical instantly melts definitely gonna pick up one of these little blowtorch thingies Wow, a magical. All right, here we go. Just a really soft tug. Wait a minute. Your passenger. We should probably just back up. All right. So, why do you think this Toyota Tacoma is having so many issues getting stuck in the snow? Leave a comment below with your answer 
or guess. You're good. So right here, you kind of have like a little chalk because you're creating a divot when you spin your tires. And you know what would really help you, Mark, is if you air down. Um, that would guarantee that you get through this. Yep. If you guess that Mark didn't air down, you are correct. See, Eric and I, we aired down at the start of the trail. Mark met up with us later on in the day, and he never got the chance to. Should I go for it now? Yeah, go for it. Nice. on the track out for me that's why all right should we like camp out here front and back and there you have it some unique challenges on this trip i've never come across a winch that was frozen so keep this in mind if you're going to be driving through water crossings or deep snow you might have frozen recovery gear and it will be a good idea to have one of those propane torches or something that could melt that ice and now we have another challenge on our hands staying warm tonight So I will be putting a fire pit <laughs> on the floor, which is going to make us nice and toasty. There you go. There we go. Woo. All right, still not looking super good, but better. Much better. Definitely not better. I know it. Got some orange tips. Ooh, that went away. That. Okay. <laughs> the body heat gets yeah, reflected. Yeah, even the radiant heat. There you there go. There we go, baby. There you go. Yeah, I just kind of picked up the... Uh... My advice is make winter camping more enjoyable by building shelters and giving yourself some heat. I tried the whole campfire in open canopy, and it's miserable, especially when there's wind chill. I personally use a gazelle tent or my awning with mylar walls. That makes winter camping a lot more enjoyable for me. Fingers stained with blood Been grasping all day in my touch with reality Driving all day Searching all night Can't seem to focus this double side This is a tale Sworn in a sight How you doing? My name is Eric, F-150 White Walker. Got an 18 F-150 here. Uh, it's Coyote engine, 5.0, four-wheel drive. I uh, got uh, Icon Stage 4 suspension, remote reservoir, CCZ, CCV uh, valving. Um, we got KC lights all the way around, Switch Pro. Uh, we got an Ironman winch here. And then we also have uh, Alpha Tent by Tough Stuff. Some Rome boxes, a Wii Boost up there. Um, Midland 575, I believe. Uh, GMRS. We got a Demos uh, shovel that's in the back right now. Uh, water and gas tank. And uh, again, another uh, Sal booster up there. Um, and a soft topper, and that's about it. We need to do some more uh, armor. We're looking at getting. Uh, some um, sliders and some uh, armor for the bottom and then uh oh yeah with what we did yesterday mm -hmm. yeah. might be a good idea <laughs> be a great idea and uh, i think uh, the next upgrade is going to go to a 
pop-up camper shell, kind of like a four-wheel camper or uh, you know something around those lines, and I'll be set. Diesel heater too, yeah. Action. Hi, my name is Mark, Meternak on Instagram, M-E-A-D-I-R-N-A-C. And this is my TRD Sport 4x4, 2022. So here's my uh, setup, a little dirty now, but I just got a platform and I got something called BAM beds, which are pretty awesome. They slide all the way in, six foot bed, so it's a substantial amount of work. There's Wait, butch bark. Yeah. yeah, we gotta go on more trips. Dude, yeah, it was, it was yeah, a good definitely, time. Definitely, It was yeah. a good time. Good peoples, <laughs> good peoples. That's the one thing about this community is everybody I've met that does this that likes it and is committed is there's a sense of uh, camaraderie and a sense of just brotherhood and sisterhood that's just there. It's just like un, you know, unspoken. Everybody helps out each other. We helped out a couple of people yesterday and just learning, be able to learn from all this because I'm still new, watching how to, how to drive in snow, how to back up, how to go forward, how to not get the divots, how to do all that stuff is just, you know, it's an education that you can't get unless you do it. All the YouTube videos you can watch, you can watch them, but Got to get out there, guys. Got to get out there. And this guy's this guy's a good guy to go. A good teacher, man. Good well said. Teacher. Yeah, <laughs> well good said, teacher, man. man. Yeah. All right. Thanks for sharing. No problem, man.